The lady is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, let me just say once again, I want to uh, expressly uh, thank uh, the chair of our committee, Mr. Berman, uh, for uh, his leadership, uh, his uh, support in bringing this resolution to the floor. Also, our ranking member, uh, Congresswoman Ilias Ross Layton, for your assistance in making sure that we could have a bipartisan resolution. Because I think, uh, you know, every now and then we ought to talk about peace. You know, that seems not to be. Uh, a word or a term that uh, we discuss very often on this floor. So we have a chance to just say peace a few times today. And thank you, Mr. Berman and Ms. Russell Layton, for uh, giving us that, that chance. This resolution recognizes the vital role of non governmental organizations in peace building efforts between Israel and, and Palestinians and encourages them to remain steadfast in their commitment to nonviolence recognition of Israel's right to exist, dedication to achieving a two-state solution, and work towards building trust and cooperation between the two peoples. Mr. Speaker, this bipartisan resolution is strongly endorsed by many organizations and groups that have been long dedicated to the cause of peace, justice, and reconciliation between Israelis and Palestinians. Supporters of this resolution, and I'd like to mention them for a minute, Churches for Middle East, which is a coalition of 22 public policy offices of national churches and agencies, Orthodox, Catholic, and Protestant, working to realize the vision of a region where two viable states, Israel and Palestine, live side by side with secure and recognized borders. The Alliance for Middle East Peace, which is an alliance of 57 NGOs promoting people-to-people -people coexistence, cooperation, and reconciliation between Israelis, Palestinians, Arabs, and Jews in the Middle East. The Israel Policy Forum, which is an independent nonpartisan organization advocating for sustained American diplomatic efforts to end the conflict between Israel and her neighbors and actively promote the two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and the Middle East Policy Advisory Committee, which is a coalition of organizations in my congressional district formed to bring a just peace between Palestinians and Israelis. I ask unanimous consent, Mr. Speaker, to include in the record letters from some of these NGOs NGOs uh, supporting this resolution. Mr. Speaker, in a region uh, that has suffered through so much loss and seemingly uh, interminable conflict, these efforts are critically important to addressing the daily struggles and challenges faced by Israelis and Palestinians. Sixty years ago, the great Senator Hubert Humphrey said that people People are the issue of the 20th century. And I might add now, the well-being of people is the critical issue of the 21st century. And peace is needed for people to flourish. As the great theologian St. Augustine reminds us, peace is the necessary condition in which people can be free to work out in their private destiny. That's why it's fitting and proper to recognize, as my resolution does, the efforts of Israeli and Palestinian individuals and non-governmental organizations that have been working, really, for decades to build bridges between the two peoples to address humanitarian concerns and to further the cause of peace. Although the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has cost too many innocent lives and continues to bring terrible sufferings to both peoples, we can all be thankful that there are many non-governmental organizations comprised of men and women of goodwill working to build schools and hospitals, to foster cultural exchanges, to increase commercial ties, economic development, and to promote interreligious dialogue and understanding. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is currently at a critical juncture, and sustained progress toward peace depends on the commitment of individuals and organizations that choose dialogue, friendship, and openness. So this amendment recognizes the efforts of those unsung heroes and sheroes and encourages them to continue their important work. It also salutes them for their commitment to nonviolence. May I have an additional 30 seconds, Mr. Chairman? I yield the gentleman additional 30 seconds. Thank recognized. you very much, Mr. Chairman. It encourages them to continue their work and salutes them for their commitment to nonviolence, recognition of Israel's right to exist, and dedication to achieve a two-state solution. I'd like to thank our staff, Mr. Berman. I'd like to thank uh, 
Alan Makoski, Matthew Swig of the staff of the Foreign Affairs Committee, and also to Gregory uh, Berry and Scott Exner in my staff. This is the spirit that I hope we can move forward uh, in terms of non-governmental peace builders toward achieving a just and lasting uh, peace. And let's, let's be cognizant of the fact today that uh, peace is possible. Thank you, Mr. Berman. Thank you, Ms. Eliana Ross-Layton. And thank the committee for this resolution.